Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. Onajurs here, filming some more Dine and Roguelikes and finishing up our look at Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So we played through the main mode using a Chaos Warrior and we also played through at a two-parter using Merfolk Assassin. And we are looking right now at this skeletal looking fellow. He's got a pretty cat here. Actually, if you want to play Dungeon Crawl as a cat, you got a felid right here. Felid are many live cats possessing sentience. They're incapable of advanced item manipulation or the use of armor or weapons. So if you ever dreamed about playing as Fricheska or whatever that cat is that kills me in Angband all the time, well, there is your chance. Uh, so other modes you got in here, because we're going to look at one of them today. You got tutorial, hence mode, then the dungeon sprint, which is what we're actually going to look at. Tutorial is just a tutorial that covers the basics of dungeon crawl. Hence mode is a normal game that gives you hints throughout the game. Arena, you can pit computer-controlled teams versus each other. And they kind of give examples here of, let's see, so if I wanted to enter, I could go Sigma... V Jessica and then we will see them fight the only problem I have with this mode is you really need to know the wow that was quick the name of the creatures that you want to see fight you got to write them down and be very exact on it because I was filming an episode before this and I actually got an error message because it didn't like the team names that I made so, got kind of to be specific there. Final thing we'll look at here is the Dungeon Sprint. It is a hard, fixed, single-level game mode. So, it's not a roguelike. It is a fixed game mode. you got a different choice of maps. So you got Red Sonia, the Violent Keep of Min Curie, the Ten Rune Challenge, Fetus Mad Dash, or Fetus, Ziggurat Sprint, Thunderdome, The Pits, Arena of Blood, and then this interestingly named level. So let's start off with Red Sonia. Still get a choice of creatures, so we'll kind of do a variety of creatures here. I'm going to do my Minotaur Chaos Knight. And we're going to start with a, a Mace. What is my name today? My name will be Owen Azuris. So let's see what we got going on here. We've got Zom, so he's going to bring some randomness too this non-random playthrough. So we already got this little guy here, Ijub, the Twisted Goblin, wielding a dagger. Small and Twisted Goblin wearing some ugly blue rags. She claims dominion of this level of the dungeon. The punishment for trespassing is death. Can hit for up to four damage. So we're going to let her come to me. Okay, and there she goes. It says she didn't hit me for any damage, but I took four. Okay. So she's trying to get away. Ah. I don't know if she went up the stairs or if they actually disappeared. Okay, so we got a ogre here. And I killed the ogre. We got some fighting skill. Gained four levels. Now it's level seven. So you progress very quickly through this mode. At least today we are. So I will go ahead and take. Wow, I have very little dexterity. I want to take some more dexterity. So I actually, wow, made it level four already. Got a giant club here. I really don't need that giant club. Let's look at my items here. We got a potion of curing, heal wounds, haste, magic, berserk rage. I can blink. I got some rations, some leather armor. Got some more money. And there is Sigmund, who won our arena battle a few moments ago against Jessica. It's the elder of a pair of brothers. Remember, two episodes ago, we killed his other brother. Let's see. So, it says a lot of people admire him. Oh, he can attack me from afar. Isn't that great? Wow! Sigmund is really good at killing me apparently that's par for the course so I'm gonna drink a potion of heal wounds go ahead and quaff it feel much better and then I want potion of berserk rage I do not want to die to Sigmund here and I didn't made to level five now this mode is very hard so if I 
only get past a few monsters or only make it a few more spaces, note that this mode is, well, it says in the description, it is a hard mode. So I'm going to use that as an excuse. Okay, I am raging out here. And here is, yeah, Jib again. Made it to level 6. I'm going to increase my strength now. Actually having a pretty good run here. Fighting increased to level 10. Wow, we are going through quick. Got some altars here. And poison. No. Okay, so I need potion of curing. I'm poisoned again. Then I need a. I thought I had a potion. Oh shoot, I'm out of my potion of haste. And I died. Okay, so that was actually, I think that might have been the last boss. Wow. So let's see what, do a couple more here. Let's see what the Arena of Blood is. And I'm going to play as a cat. That might not be a Berserker cat, to be exact. The Arena of Blood. You descend into the pit of gibbs and meat, the sunken abyss of the depraved, the mill of turgid gut spawn. The written instruments serve in adoration, immured beneath a rotted throne. Before you lies the servitor of chaos, the cleaver, the blasphemer. The destroyer, the axe of woe. You are the unmaker, you bring the rapture. Okay. I'm a cat. Trog says, kill them all. And that's what we try to do. The bag of meat. A meat berserker. Okay, so sculptures of the flesh, all that good stuff. Yeah, whoa! Okay, that took off 78 hit points. Hey, I got a lot of my score. Okay, that was doesn't seem to be very balanced, at least not for a cat. Let's see what this one is. And let's do a vampire gladiator. And we use a rapier. Kind of a weird choice for a gladiator. Okay. So far, so good. So got a potion of blood, which can heal me. I think heal wounds hurts me. We'll find that out in a little while. And I died to the ogre. Okay. So that's kind of all the different little challenges. There are little challenges you can do. They're very hard. Let's try. I want to try Red Sonia again because now I'm kind of curious. Mintar. Let's try very basic. A fighter with a long sword. Let's go try to take out him. Come on. Good. Alright, so I took him out. So that's probably better than anything I have. There'll be an ogre here. Darn it. If I'd killed him. Do that one more time. Let's see. Not a minotaur. Let's do hill orc. Bissell Knight. Let's try Berserker. With a, a spear. Alright. Wait, what? He's absent one. Do you resist with significant effort? It's one to polymorph. I turned into a fungus. I'm 
going to kill him. Okay, I need to increase my strength. Okay, my transformation's almost over. I don't know, maybe it randomizes the stuff he has? Yeah, there's an enchanted club there. Okay, if I can kill this orc, I'm going to gain a lot. Oh, shoot. It's almost dead. I killed him. Made it to level four. Good. Giant spiked club. I don't think that's going to do me any good right now. Okay, I'm going to heal. Because especially if I think I know where the boss is. Okay, I'm just doing this the old-fashioned way. Hitting five a bunch of times. So there's Sigmund. Okay. I got a one to polymorph now. Sigmund the Jelly. Hey, Sigmund the Jelly. Oh, shoot. Sigmund the Jelly can shoot acid at me. Sigmund the Jelly's destroying my armor. Use it again. Maybe I'll make him something even worse. He's a porcupine. Sigmund the Porcupine's hurting me. All right, Sigmund the Porcupine killed me. So that perhaps was not my best idea. And we'll go back here. So yeah, that's really all the different modes for Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We've looked at the main mode. Uh, we aren't really gonna do tutorial hints mode. Looked at some of the dungeon sprint, looked at the arena saw a fight uh, you can download it and make simulate your own fights as I said when you simulate the fights make sure you have the exact names of the monsters so I guess it's kind of useful if you run into a monster in the dungeon and want to try to find tips or tricks for beating that particular monster well that might be a good way to test it against various other monsters see what resistances are things like that and then yeah the dungeon sprint mode is pretty cool it's almost a little bit like a puzzle I like the little scenarios. I like sometimes doing fixed puzzles that have sometimes, they're not really puzzles, I guess. I'm thinking more like puzzles and she Run the Wonder, those types of games have like 50 puzzles each that you have to go and solve and they use different mechanics. Where here, I don't know, there probably are some different mechanics. That one to Polymorph seemed to kind of be coming into play, but I kept making Sigmund a more powerful slime or a really powerful porcupine which was not really in the cards to beat that level. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup and the other modes available in the game. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you have suggestions for roguelike games to play in the future, please either send those to me or leave those in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you'll be updated whenever I update the channel. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.